fact that God loves the world first shows his incredible character. God was the first one to reach out and to start his love relationship with the world. He didn't make the world do anything first to prove that it was worthy of his love. Instead, he loved the world, regardless of what the world was like or what was going on in the world. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in the No matter where I was, God was with me. In the past, I thought God rejected me, but I learned that God was always there with me, even in the dark times. And I wanted a new life, and God gave me a new life. He loves me so much, he sent his only son to die for my sins. I was that son that had ran away and just betrayed everything that my father was doing for me. God opened his arms wide and hugged me back into his family and threw a party for me because I was coming back to him. Miracle work, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And he said, look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I've cheated anything out of it, anyone out of anything, I will give back four times the amount. Wow. He just gave away 80% of his wealth. He became poor. It didn't matter. That wealth didn't matter anything to him. He realized Jesus is worth more. I had been absent for so long. I had been running for so long, but I was called back to restore fruitful relationship with him. I figure if Jesus forgave, I already forgot how to say his name, Zach, he, he can forgive a man like me, a child of God as well. The reason why I know that is because I'm still here. That God's love for us is unconditional. It feels like 99% of the time I abuse his love and there's no way that God welcomes me back with open arms every time I come back. Body, the church. But when I remember the love of Christ, these bitter feelings are almost instantly erased by a perfect greater love, and I feel so free and at peace, finding that I can even love others. God loves us. Does He send His one and only Son Jesus to suffer and to die on the cross as the propitiation for our sin? The King of Glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace This is unfailing love That you would take my Now when I look back I see God had a greater purpose and plan for my life and the students there He was helping me to broaden my heart and love others just like He loved me In the same way let me just end by saying God wants to use you as well to do His gospel work and to bring about the salvation of many souls. Now, Matthew 6.33 is not just a promise for me or a select few. It is for anyone and everyone who is passionate about God's kingdom. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of Lord.
Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. 